Hello folks, uh, this is Edward. Once again, I have another modification to another tool which uh, makes reloading a little bit easier. Uh, what I have in front of me is the Frankfurt Arsenal, uh, the priming tool. I have had this for a while. It works awesome. It's much easier than using the press, at least for me it is. And this guy goes for about 65 to about 75 bucks. And I think it's a very well worth investment. Uh, usually what I do is... Let me get my cases ready. So here's a fired case. You slip this inside. And it has the spent case... I'm sorry, the spent um, primer catcher. And you press it, they primes it, pull it out, and you're done. The nice thing about this is you can take this anywhere out to the range, if you're watching TV. Um, so basically, you can, you can do your depriming anywhere. Uh, now, the only drawback to it, at least for me, is my hand gets tired after holding this for a while. So what I did is I did a basic modification to it so I can mount it onto my table so I don't have to hold the tool. So I'm gonna put this aside for now. So what I did was use a 3 8 all thread. I bent it in a little L-shaped form. It is not a true 100% 90. So I bent it in an L-shaped form I have a small hole, a 3 8 hole, on my, on my workbench. And I have an um, inch and a half uh, 3 8 uh, fender washers. So the way that I mount it is just like so. I'm going to move the camera so you can see it. Okay. And another nut underneath to hold it into place. Later on, what I will do, uh, just to make things easier, I will probably change this nut to a wing nut. Or change the one, or actually change both of them to a wing nut so I can easily, uh, so I can easily take it on and off. And then I'll go ahead and tighten this guy. So it's not too tight, but it can still move, but it's nice and snug. And I have a washer. And here's the hole that I made on the handle. So this guy slides on. I have another washer. And another nut. And then tighten these two. And I probably use wing nuts for these as well. So this is nice and tight. Later on what I will do is I will probably finish this off um, with something so I don't see the all thread. But for now it works great. So the way that this works is this is mounted onto the bench. See, sorry about all the background noise. So this is mounted onto the bench. And I do have a drawer here where I put my empty bucket. But if you don't have a drawer, you can go ahead and put, mount this onto your bench. Have a piece of plywood come out or piece of shelf come out and put your bucket there. So in this case, what I do... is simply pull out my drawer, which acts like a shelf. And here's a fired case, slip it in. Fall right in. Slip it in. Press the handle, it primes and just falls right in. And one more time. Now sometimes it gets stuck because I have 
I need to adjust the screws so as you press it, it comes right out. But most of the time it works great. Yeah. So this, this is a great tool and it's a, I think it's a great modification. I hope this comes in handy. Um, now, if you don't have a shelf, if you don't have the drawer, if you don't want to put a shelf, you can always put the empty bucket on your lap and just work it that way. I have the camera in front, so I can't show that. Um, please put your comments uh, and your concerns in the comment section. I don't mind learning from other, uh, uh, from other people. So if there's any other modifications that you think will work on this or it's better or Again, any comments that you have, please put it in the comments section. I have done yet another modification to my Frankfurt Arsenal electronic powder dispenser that I can take it out in the field, use it, and without any 120 volt electrical circuit. At the same time, I can use that at my shop uh, not use the electrical circuit, the household electrical circuit, or the shop electrical circuit. So I don't have any interference from the fluorescent um, lights. So that is coming up soon. That modification video is coming up soon. So make sure to watch out for it. Um, any questions? Again, put it in the comment section. Thanks for watching.